Hello guys, Jignesh Jain here. I am back with another video for our Redmi Note 7 Pro. And this time, it's Color OS 7. Yes, this is Color OS, OS 7 running on Android 10. And I have flashed this on our Redmi Note 7 Pro. So, as you can see, everything is working fine. No issues with this. Let me get into the about phone. As you can see, this is Redmi Note 7 Pro Color OS version 7. And this video, I'll show you how to flash this on our Redmi Note 7 Pro. Yeah, this is not an easy, uh, it is very tough to flash. Flash only if you are sure that you can be able to flash this. So that's it, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like the video, and share so that you can get other videos also. So right now, as you can see, let's go through the details as you can see the first sim slot is empty for me and in second sim slot i have vodafone sim card and uh, cellular data and all is working but this is not working uh, sim basically this is a dummy sim but yes i have checked it it's working so you can use that calling and all is working right now wi-fi as you can see the wi-fi are here so wi-fi is working no issues with that Everything else is working. You have all the option in the status bar and all. So you can use this if you want to. You also have lock screen, password, convenience tools, security. So, so basically all the things from color OS are here. If you want to check, you can easily flash this and use this. So without wasting the time, let's get into the flashing process. So for this, you will just need to boot into the yeah, whole, whole this Chinese I don't know why they bloat so much Chinese people. So just power off the phone. I am assuming that you are already on TWRP. And you are ready to flash this. And you are ready to sacrifice your data too. Because you will have to wipe the data. So just boot into the TWRP. So you know how to boot into TWRP I guess. And if you don't. Then don't use this. So you will need this power button and volume up button to boot to the TWRP for your convenience so I have booted into TWRP what I'll do is mount first I'll wipe everything so that you can be sure that it is booting so as you can see what all I am wiping cache system data vendor metadata internal oh, sorry this is mounting sorry so let's wipe so I am wiping Delvik cache cache vendor data internal storage so everything is wiped so as you are seeing i am wiping everything so that's wiped no issues with it then press back go to menu manage partitions select data and say goodbye to it by pressing yes so it is showing error don't worry data is wipe and if you want you can also try this if it doesn't wipe if you think that it doesn't wipe so what I am seeing is it is not wiping so there is an option to wipe the data in different way wipe data from here so it is done right now good now what you will need to do is you will have to download that file which I have already given on the telegram group and I'll be linking the file here too for a reference. So the file, you'll need this file, color OS 7, just wipe to install. As you can see, it's extracting system. Let it extract the system. As soon as that is finished, Keep holding your power button and volume up button so that you will directly reboot to the recovery. Let it extract the system.
it's still installing the system image so let it get installed once this has been done as you can see it's coming to the end so it's done what I'll do is I'll just keep pressing the buttons so that it will just reboot so I have not let it install whole vendor in case if it gets installed don't panic we have an option for that you'll have to use some other options for this so right now I know that vendor has been installed a bit but not a complete vendor so vendor will give an error so what I'll do is I need system but I don't need Delvi cache cache vendor data and internal storage I'll just wipe it out and you can see it has easily wiped out the vendor now what I'll do is I'll install the vendor from the file so you'll need this vendor note down if you want to it's Xiaomi 9.10.24 vendor just flash it be patient and don't worry if anything happens you always have fast boot rom but if you but in case if you break your phone by this I'll laugh at you so don't don't call me or don't text me that I have break my phone do only if you want to so as you can see it's been done just wipe the caches and reboot system let's see if it's reboot if it boots up no issues and if it doesn't we will flash permissive version 5 so what I can see here is it's trying to boot and holy shit it booted so it is booted right now just select your language oops Filipino good language just press ok 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 and you are into the system that's it guys I hope you know how to set up the phone that was the thing make sure again I'm telling you make sure that you don't don't flash the whole vendor and uh, basically the the ROM which I'm providing use for Rafael so basically if you flash the vendor of Rafael you'll have an unlimited boot loop you won't be able to start your phone until you fast boot ROM un until you flash the fast boot ROM in it, on it and in case if you do so don't bug me up with this that's it guys take care